How can somebody who's had so many bankruptcies and failure be considered such a successful businessman? Hey Sam. Hi. Good morning. So today, Sam and I are going out on a little canoe adventure. There's actually been a brown bear sighting. We, I saw the oh. black bear three days ago. And I saw, like, maybe, I, I saw a snake in the water. Yeah, we saw a water snake. So, but just down the road on the island, there was a brown bear that was spotted. And uh, because on Friday, which was just a few days ago, I saw a black bear come down the island and swim across, we thought, let's go out in the canoe and look for the brown bear. We actually got in the van, drove around, we didn't see it but we saw the pictures of people who saw it just a few minutes before. All right, so I saw this question posted on Quora, and, and the, the post, I, I went back and looked, I couldn't find the exact same post. I saw others that were similar. And what the person said is, and I'm sure they were referring to Donald Trump, I'm not gonna talk politics here, but uh, they said, how can somebody who's had several bankruptcies and, and had a failed casino and whatnot, and I'm not a fan of casinos, so, but, uh, how can somebody who's had so many bankruptcies and failure be considered such a successful businessman? Well, I fully understand what that's like. I believe that failure uh, is the stepping stone to success. So the more failures you have, the more lessons you learn. And the more you learn, the more wisdom you have and the better you are, the more successful you are, the more uh, equipped you are. So. I mean, that's just a quick little comment I had to say there because I saw that question. It's like, how can somebody that's had a bankruptcy or had multiple bankruptcies be considered such a successful businessman? Well, when you're successful, when you have success, if you've achieved success in something or it's worked, you're then successful. Just because you had failure leading up to it, that stinks and it hurts. And it's quite painful. Sorry, buddy, I was just shifting our weight to the center. When you've had failures like that, those are the stepping stones to success. That's a cool dock. It is a cool dock. It's a big one. You can, you can just climb up on a slide and go down and land in the water. Yeah, it's got a water slide. So I'll turn so you guys can potentially see the dock behind us here. Got a water slide on it. So my son is a... So that, would, that would be a lot of fun to go down that water slide, huh? Yeah. So All right, well, we could just be used to the water, and then we would just go down the slide. We would go so fast into the water. Yeah, that would be awesome. So, I believe that most people are afraid of entrepreneurship. They're afraid of business taking that leap of, of entrepreneurship because of the fear of failure. They think that somehow, if they don't succeed on their first try, that all will be lost. It's not, not common at all for people to succeed on their first try because, you know, people who go to business school, they don't become entrepreneurs. People that kind of learn how to do it, they actually become employees for big corporations. So entrepreneurs, they have to learn by trial and error. It's all just uh, experimentation. And you got to expect to have a lot of failures before you have any measure of success. Looks like a... Well, I thought a skier fell in, but they're not stopping to turn around. Maybe they're... They just... Yeah, he fell. I don't... Yeah, now they're turning around. There we go. They're just leaving him hanging for a while. All right. Sammy, do you see the... Look up on the shore and see if you see a brown bear. That'd be so cool if we on spotted it. Yeah, on that side. If we see one, we just row light. Yeah, we would row really fast to keep our safe distance, huh? You would row. Like if, I he, would, if he came in the water. I said I didn't want to row, but if I saw the whale, I would row. Oh yeah. Oh no! Oh no! 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 <laughs> that big wake's coming in towards us, huh? Big waves from the boat. In the middle of a wave. In the middle of two waves. What if we have 
That boat? Uh-huh. That's a fun boat, it looks like. It, uh, it has a steering wheel. You don't have to pull it all. Yeah, you don't have to paddle because it's got a steering wheel. And it's, <laughs> yeah. She's a boat. So this is the cabin that uh, I grew up going to except for <laughs> this whole area right there is totally brand new. That, that used to be a big deck. A uh, huge deck with a massive, massive stairway coming down. It was so big, in fact, that there were a couple big tall pine trees that uh, my grandpa built the deck around the trees. So anyway, that cabin next door, they bought this cabin and remodeled it. And this uh, dock out here is brand new. All right, a couple days ago, my son and I and my brother were out here. We came to this very spot. They've built up the, this rock wall for a little causeway across the water. There's a little tunnel. We just came over to look at the tunnel that goes under the, the road, I guess. But we saw these animals and they look exactly like ferrets. So just like ferrets you'd see at a pet store. But I've never seen ferrets in the wild. They were long, about this big around, but um, 18 we, inches long. And we saw one and, they, and it just disappeared under the water. Yeah, so it was standing on the log right there and it jumped down into the water, just swam away, it didn't even make a splash. So I, didn't, I don't know if ferrets can swim or if it's some other type of animal that just looks like a ferret. So we came back over here this morning to say hello and get them on video, but they're not out. They were just going in these holes and um, there was at least three of them, but probably more that they were just, three is all that came out at the same time. But. Uh, Anyway, hopefully we can get some video of these critters before our stay here is done. Maybe every one that came out was a different one. Yeah, maybe. So there could have been like a dozen of them. So we're back in this cove. The water here is quite clear. You can see down to the rocks. I mean, it's not too deep right here. The, bla the black bear and the brown bear that we heard about today won't attack us. You want to know why? Why is that? Because... Winnie the Pooh knows the black bone brown bear, and we know Winnie the Pooh, so the black bone brown bear won't attack us. Alright, Sam's getting hungry, so we're gonna paddle across the reservoir back to the island. 